I don't know about you guys, but I am having a freaky, fantabulous Friday, and we are here to bring you such an oh, and we are here to bring you such an entertaining show tonight. This week, so much has happened on social media, and of course, we pick five of the hottest and spiciest headlines, and we are about to dig into them. But before then, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. We'll be right back. You can find Cheesy Pizza at the Ring Road, Kasua, Dansoman, Osu, Asherman, Hacho, Spintas, and Adenta. Cheesy Pizza, your pizza, your way. And we are back and kicking it off with our fit pick of the week. And this week, Valentine's Day. Valentine's is coming. Where is your boyfriend? You are sitting on a jolly or you are... <laughs> Guys, I said this year's Valentine. Hmm. It was very quiet. My right? My yeah, I'm saying we were we the own oh, association. We were sitting there with our phones ready, data, your yeah, thought data, ready to go online and see cute videos of couples. Why is it a shower season so nobody's booed up? <laughs> All they gave us was photo shoot to celebrity couples. Yeah, so mm -hmm. nothing, no show oh, of. Okay, yeah, that was some spicy video. Fela Makafu and Medica, we didn't see, was just posting photos. They didn't go all out. Nana Mama Gray, your husband, what? What happened? Like, there's so many. Derby. It was Sister Derby and her new boo who were giving us, you know, or maybe because Afina Omudon aired or Dofofro. I saw Donna a chair, I feel it. And I'm not even promoting it. I be a young one. But the very shocking one, I would say, was Omar Krupp's Valentine photo shoot. Hmm. All of a sudden, Omar Krupp just came showing us belly, you know, wearing, you know, he was, he was wearing a shirt, all right, but he was like, you're going to see this chest and all this flat tummy goodness and everything, painted nails, black nails and the the, the 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 lipstick that was all over his mouth <laughs> and it was the caption that shocked me he said when you truly find yourself when you truly find yourself what does Omar Krupp mean by when you truly find yourself what was hidden and has been found exactly Ghanaians over to you digest this for us Asim Kessia Frankis and now but we are moving on to our fourth pick for this week. And our fourth pick is one that a damakumaso. A damakumaso course. This year it is our dream. But normally you just a dream you best son. We'll change the dream. Hey, this is a bicycle. Bicycle. Guys, for the past two weeks, full price is doing lot of numbers. Single two. They do at 22, <laughs> they're 23, they're 26, and above and beyond. They see a fool or no? A cock, 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 a this means that fares are about to, you know, be increased. Because literally, the, the drivers, uh, the GPRTU has said that full prices, you know, it's going up. And that's what they used to operate. So they just have no option but to increase by a whole poly poly 30%. Not 10. Not 10. And we know in our economy, once full prices goes and um, transportation goes, everything, literally the cost of living, everything just increases. Banku to say, banku to say, economy, no, day. The fundamentals are weak. Baumia and Nada, Nada. You people came. I mean, if your mama used wood, we thought you were bringing metal. Where did you that is saying? That is saying. Yes, who said Udia, Apogee, eh, she had no one's house, but when your mama do petrol go. Nada, the Baumia, the petrol go. The economy is so hard. Ghana CD currency is always, you know, the exchange rate is increasing by the day. Everything is just. Pasa. Sikedie, Pasa. There's been so many demonstrations this week. Um, NAPCO trainees went on demonstration. Um, unhappy Ghanaians and the minority went on demonstration against the E-Levy. I mean, it's, it's been such a rough start to the new year that we just pray that all of these are woes and our cries 
are, are going to be heard and we are going to see some improvements in the economy and what have you. But after the PR, our president is doing it in the brochure or difference. Ghana is the wealthiest country in Africa and since TD Jake Simo a prisoner, but the real citizens of Ghana know. Yeah, bleh, yeah, bleh, yeah, bleh, yeah, bleh. Moving on to our third story. Four Ghanaians hmm, were arrested in the UK for carrying 38 kilograms of cocaine, estimated to be valued at 2.88 million pounds. Wow. So now compare that this Ghanaian city against this pound sterling. Exchange rate. So the people who were arrested, Eric Kusia Pia, who is 51 years old, mm -hmm. Albert Kechre Jemfi, who is also 52, Jennifer Ajemai, 38 years, and Julius Tete Pupulampu, 56 years. Four of them. <laughs> when the news broke, everyone is like, hey, we don't see Rasta man in sight. Mm -hmm. We don't see people sagging their pants in sight. Mm -hmm. We don't see yo yo boys in sight. We don't see slay queens in sight. That means the real people who are doing the real business, the real dirty business, you, know, you cannot put a stereotype on them. True. Because all the time when things when it's drug related and all these things you say oh rasta for small small boys young boys someone when you say 56 obi papa obi nana obi nana but yes they've been convicted and you know we don't know what's going they are going to of course they are going to jail yeah. and according to reports one of them has already been convicted before but on one as well that's what they and Twitter users are using this to have so much fun. People mm -hmm. were like, <laughs> cassettes. <laughs> It'd be like, it was only cassettes that people are selling on this street. Too. Those who are selling cassettes, those who are selling charcoal, those who are selling metals to become rich. You know? yeah, it's like, they are doing other things. <laughs> we are not the ones, we are not the ones saying media. it on social media. Don't go quote me anywhere. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're moving on to our third pick. And our third pick is one that is very, very exciting to me in particular because this man, ever since he bought a home in Ghana and made Ghana his second home, he's been on a campaign to sell in Ghana to the world to the extent of inviting Hollywood big names to come invest in Ghana. I'm talking about comedian and actor Michael Blackson. I mean, we all know how much he loves this country. Like whenever he's coming down, he's either coming with his white friends or his, his family or his wife to be. And he's always, you know, putting Ghana on the map. Whenever he goes out, he's taking videos. He's letting people see that, you know, Ghana and Africa is not the, the stereotype that has been shown in foreign movies over the year, but there is a vibrant and fun and, and exciting side to the country. And not only did he buy a home, he literally says he's on a mission to create um, a whole movie about Ghana to sell Ghana. So you can see that Ghana no Edana Kuma. So and one way Michael Blackson feels he can achieve this dream is by inviting one of Hollywood's biggest names when it comes to movie acting, directing, producing, creation. He's like the all in all powerhouse, the Tyler Perry. So he literally took to Twitter and extended an invitation to Tyler and said, you know what? Come, come home, come home to Accra Ghana. Don't worry about anything. I will buy the land. Even if it is 20 acres that you need, I am going to buy the land. All I need you to do is to set up um, a film studio, a film house that's going to have all the equipment that's needed, that's going to make sure that we can create, you know, quality movies and content from Ghana and from the African narrative. And I feel it's a very a very thoughtful, um, you know, invitation. And if Tyler does accept this invitation, Hopefully, it will bring the change that we are all seeking to have Ghana movie, you know, see and maybe sell Ghana to a bigger, better stage um, in the world. So we are grateful to Michael Blackson for his love for Ghana and his passion for Ghanaian art. We can't wait to see all the other things that he's doing underground that he's not tweeting about it and how they'll all come out to play and help Ghana in the long run. So kudos, Cole Blackie. Guys, our final pick for this week. JQ's very 
best friend in the industry. Like, <laughs> Jekyll Donam. Once you mention his name, then she's like, oh my God. <laughs> you I'm wait, not. if I mention his name, she's going to say, oh my God. Shatawale. Oh my God. Yes! <laughs> Shatawale. I don't even know whether that album is out or it is about to be out. We don't even know what is going on. He's just creating attention. Whether it is good attention, bad attention, every PR is PR. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For Shatawale. Right? So this week, Shatawale is uh, one of the Shata Movement family members. Shata Kumoji came back. I don't know from where. Whether he's been in jail. Camp. Yo, Shata Kumoji came back from camp and Shatawale was so excited to have him back and in the excitement and everything, gave him a kiss, a wet kiss, because you could hear it in the video. <laughs> <laughs> and the video made it, and of course, you know, Shatawale, everything he's doing, there are people all over him taking videos. So the video made it to social media and people were like, yo, some George, come and see. <laughs> The gay people you are looking for, no? they are not anywhere, they are right in your face. <laughs> Come and see. Some saw the video and said, hey, it's like, as for this one, it's like somebody smoked the wrong set of weed, uh, uh, you know, leaves. Uh, Twitter went ablaze. Everyone was expecting, of course, Shatawali to come and cause me him, and he came and was, you know, ready to attack some judge. But then it didn't happen. Some called him, you know, behind the scenes. They sorted everything out. And Twitter users were like, oh, we're waiting for some war. Why did you let this escalate? Agenda boys were already setting agenda. <laughs> but it didn't happen. And another shattered situation is like it's a week of kissing for him. His, his girlfriend, new girlfriend, Frida, is celebrated her birthday this week. And come and see the smooching. Every one minute, we are kissing Namu. <laughs> Holding of us, Namu. Hey, must be nice. Oh, love is nice. Must be nice to be Shatawale's girlfriend. Anna. Anyways, so Frida's birthday. I say, yeah, dear to us, every day be a baby in them. Yeah, man, a dog, dog, <laughs> puppy presents, cat. Anyway, <laughs> Shatawale say, I'm not gay. I, I kiss everybody in my camp. I've kissed medical before. I've kissed everybody before. And we're like, okay, if that is how you express love in Shatter Movement Camp, it is a good thing. We are trying to, uh, you know, dismantle misogyny. So if this is the, some of the ways to ex publicly, you know, express emotion towards your fellow brother, then we welcome it. We see girls kissing each other every day and we see it as normal. So if Shatawali is kissing another man, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, he's publicly showing us that. Shatawali has consistently shown us that he's not gay. He loves women. Shatamichi has been with him for how many years? He might be bi. And now yes. Frida. Our producer says he might be bi. I mean, you can never tell. But yes, Shata is not gay. <laughs> Shata says he's not gay. Guys, that's all we have for you this week. Uh, Nana Kwame, the Shade King himself, mm -hmm. is on standby to bring you the fun segment of this show. And as usual, me and my girl, the kimono queens. Ooh. Guys, we did not plan this. It was very, very unplanned, loud. You know, but you know, yeah. we sisters and we do everything yeah. alike. So. We're born on the same day, whatever. Oh my God. So yeah. we'll see you next week. Yeah. We love you. Mm. Bye, y'all. <laughs> And guys, it is time for my absolute favorite part of the show, the hot segments right here on Top Picks. And I'm going to waste no time. I'm going to dive in. This week, we have some interesting stuff for you. So, of course, I'm going to start off with something that I totally love, Shade of the Week. And this time, we are bringing in our own boss. Like, once in a while, I like to feature him because he's quite a chit chatty Betty. <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter. So he posted on Twitter, I have too many things, people taking and needing my attention. Very stressing. I mean, he just he was just telling the people how stressful it is to be Amir or Deborah. And Cool Jam on Twitter replied, God must be suffering. Good morning, small God. <laughs> 
I mean, even God is not complaining. Here, yeah, Amiel is complaining. That is our shade of the week. And moving on to our next segment, which is hot pics of the week. And this time, my jaw dropped. I was sweaty just from looking at the pictures. Sifa he choke like every time he choke but now i cannot breathe okay i am suffocating on this fit this is so clean so hot and yeah apparently she's in france and not, not a lot of people do style better than french and she's saying i'm here to dominate i'm here to look hot i'm here to take style away from you and give it to you better than i found it and that is our hot picks for the week moving on to our throwback of the week probably the most popular or um, popular man in ghana right now the president himself his excellency nana adudankwa Kufado, looking sad like we are like now we are sad the whole country is mourning because the economy is going to pretty much is going into the gutters nothing is working and so our mood is what he was looking like before now he's rich but then the feedback of Ekufado is our current mood and that is what we have for you when it comes to throwback and guys that is all we have for you this week on our segments right here on top picks we hope you enjoyed it do not go anywhere we'll come your way same time next week gracias gracias Thank <laughs> you.